Hey, y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43, and I'm here to give you the mid-month of April, year 2023, reading for the zodiac sign of Virgo. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. Do come right on in and join us. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much hope, faith, harmony, love, luck, romance, peace, all that good stuff. Welcome, welcome back, Virgos. You guys are fantastic. I appreciate you guys. If you are a cross-watcher, I'm sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to all of us here. Please remember when it comes to any type of readings that it's important that you guys focus on the energy and the messages. Please take what resonates as you choose. Leave anything that does not behind for somebody else as it may benefit them in their life. Always first and foremost, go to our Heavenly Father God, Jesus Christ, your angels, your healers, your helpers, your loved ones in heaven, your entire spiritual team and family. They are incredible. They got you. They're by your side. Trust in God. Believe in yourself. Listen to your intuition and always do what you guys feel is best at all times for you and your family. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Virgos, you guys are awesome, phenomenal, amazing about helping me grow my channel. Thank you so much for all your love, your support, and help. Please continue to do so. I appreciate you guys. Any information about me in regards to my what I offer, you know, with being a life coach, what I offer with being, you know, a reader. I'm doing motivational readings at this time. And of course, if you need a personal life coach or if you just need some direct information, I got you. Please read the description box. And um, when it comes to personal life coaching, I will design um, a package for you based on what you need. I do give free consultations. So always check the description box. Things will always be changing. I will be adding scholarship information for adults, for um, people who are in college, um, students, all kinds of information. If I see anything positive, I'm going to be putting it out there, especially if it's opportunities business ideas, all that kind of stuff. So, um, or things to help your business, anything like that. So always read the description box, email me. If you guys have questions, I'm here to help. Okay. So everything is there. If you want to donate, I have some links in the description box. Everything is right there for you. So, you know, thank you in advance for anybody who has donated or will. Okay. Virgo, this reading is in regards to the karma that people are receiving for betraying and hurting you. Everything has been prayed and meditated on. I don't plan to read any card in reverse. These type of readings get really deep, so please click off if it's going to be too sensitive, too emotional for you. Do what's best for your mental health. It's to help. It's to heal. It's for preparational purposes. So it's to put you guys um, in preparation and a reminder that God's letting you know they did not get away with um, betraying you and mistreating you. All right. Love and light to everybody. Let's jump in. Like I said, everything has already been Put on, and I did spread out the cards just to save a little time. So let's jump in. I'm still going to cleanse because I always do. So please, Spirit, come through as you always do for the zodiac sign of Virgo for the mid month of April, year 2023. You guys had to disengage from narcissists, people who hurt you, broke your heart, betrayed you, because these betrayers are stuck in darkness. And you know that. The light switch is not coming on. You guys were the light bulb in the room. That light bulb is shattered, it's thrown away, it's broken. A lot of you guys I'm hearing are not coming back. It's a done deal. And that's great. Do what's best for you guys, for your, your health, your safety, your sanity, your peace, your life. Because I'm hearing this person, these people, they don't want to be found. Even if they tell you they want help, they never seek it. They never go through with it. They never improve. They pretend to improve. They pretend like they want to change. For a lot of them, they already don't want to change. They're fine being stuck where they are, but they are going to suffer because they're living life demonic. You know, they're living a demonic life. It's evil. It's low vibrational. They are stuck in darkness. You guys were the sunlight and the sunshine in their life, leading them to God and their purpose to more peace and happiness. That's gone. All the blessings, the gifts, that's gone. You guys walked away. You disengaged. I don't blame you. This person is, they have a dark soul. They have a dark heart. They are stuck in darkness and a lot of them want to be. So you guys have decided to leave them there in their pain, their suffering, their misery, their whole toxic life because it's not for you. It was draining. It was demeaning. It was disrespectful. You don't deserve that. This person is highly, uh oh, highly sexually motivated. They'll do anything for sex. They put sex above all things, everything. They don't value respect and relationships. They don't have any morals. They don't. They just want to sleep with any and everything out there. Riff raff. This person don't care if they get diseases or not. This is a careless person. 
very careless, very reckless. If they can't get sex out the deal, they don't want you. This is like the king of players. And this person is the biggest fool. And I feel like some of them may have been abused. That's not their fault, but they were supposed to go get help. They were supposed to get treatment and overcome their problems of the past. So some people numb through alcohol and drugs and stuff. They may have had, they may have those addictions as well, but their biggest addiction is being a sex addict. This is a sex addict. They're obsessed with sex. They knew you were authentic energy. So they want to keep you around because it made them look good. You, you stand out, is what I'm hearing, in a very positive and good way. So they wanted to hold on to you because they knew what success looked like. They knew you'd be successful. You already are. A lot of you guys are still on that climb. They know you will be if you're not there yet. But you are of good character, of the divine. And they were sent to help you grow, to grow themselves, so that you guys can build a home, a life, a true partnership, a solid, positive friendship. These people are demoted spiritually for putting sex above you and everybody else. This is a serial cheater. They, they just, they can't get enough. They're out of control. They'll sleep with anybody, anything. They have been demoted because they put sex above God. And that's a no, no. You don't put anyone or anything above God in your purpose. They are out of control and they don't mind being. They enjoy it. They don't care. They'll spend their last dollar on it. They've spent your money on it. They don't care. They give gifts. They'll give things you gave them or things they bought for you or were going to give to you. They invested in sex, pornography, always online, always distracted, always got somewhere else to be in somebody's pants and somebody's underwear. They're never, they're never trying to like break this this toxic chain, this toxic cycle, they're not trying to change it. They've been demoted. They were supposed to overcome this. They became an addict. They travel for sex, pay for sex. I'm seeing whores, prostitution, people who don't value their bodies. Any and everything goes with this person. You guys may have felt, if you guys were with this person romantically, and a lot of you were, you felt a shift. You felt a change. You felt dirty after sleeping with them or you felt unhealthy you felt like an there was something unhealthy something very not healthy about their appetite for sex and and the change some kind of shift happened where they started doing something really kinky or overly freaky it's just too much out of control so a lot of them if they weren't if they were traveling or on business trips or missing work sleeping with people at work just everywhere just disgusting i'm here to try for them and so they were emotionally unavailable to you, very closed off. They created distance. Like you couldn't reach them emotionally anymore. You couldn't have those in-depth conversations about emotions and feelings. They only cared about themselves. There was only concern whose bed they're going to be in, whose tabletop, under the table, wherever. They create a lot of distance because you couldn't connect with them anymore on any level. It was a disconnect. Their sexual appetite, it over it overtook them. They got the best of them. These people, they don't have any standards. They don't have any standards. They don't have any values, no morals. They don't live by an ethical code. They don't. Low standards. And they attract people of low vibration. Whores, hookers, I mean, the worst of the worst. Men and women, whoever. They may, you may have seen... Um, them turn to pornography, but they kept elevating, you know, lower and lower, you know, meaning they kept getting worse. They went from porn, paying different sites. This person could be on a lot of like, um, I'm hearing a lot of websites where they can get sex or watch sex, um, or even participate. I'm hearing participation. So they started meeting up with some of the people they were paying. They pay people in the streets. But they have no, they have no standards, no values. They don't. They only focus on one thing: their guilty pleasures. They get a high off of sex and thrills, and what people can do, where they can do it. Always touching. You may have felt like they're touching you more, but it didn't feel like it was coming from love. It was from a very lust 
field place, very lusty energy, lust, lust driven. So they lie to get sex. They hide money. They were always broke or always spending money, but you weren't seeing enough groceries. You were not seeing enough bills being paid, maybe bills stacked up and they got behind on credit cards. If you guys looked at bank statements and credit card statements, especially if you guys are or were married or are married, you guys can look at that stuff legally because that's your spouse. And you'll see, you know, a lot of you guys I'm here found evidence that they were spending so much money um, paying different men and women on various sites. And, you know, they were always um, traveling, plane tickets, bus, train, all that. So they only care about their guilty pleasures. This person just, it's, they're overdoing it and they're drained. And they look, it's like, they're, they're aging in the face is what I'm hearing. Something about them or their body is aging. So you notice a major difference. If you guys were romantically linked, you guys notice a difference in how they loved you in comparison to how they started off. This person is having a lot of nightmares. This is part of their karma. Spirit is not letting them get away with disrespecting you when you guys were sent to each other to do wonderful things in this life, in this world. What you each went through were lessons that were supposed to be taught to help other people. They could, This person could be depressed and they, they went deeper into it. They were demoted spiritually and they they don't even care. They're not concerned about it, but they are being forced to see it because they're facing nightmares. Somebody could be after them as well. They have nightmares about you because you've moved on. They have nightmares about sleeping with other people's husbands and wives and girlfriends and boyfriends not caring in their home, in their bed, in their cars. They're having nightmares about illness, sickness, like somebody after them and somebody really could be. And it's definitely spirit, demons are running up and through this person. They don't sleep peacefully. So if they were never on drugs, that's next. That's next. Because sex is their drug. Some of them are prostitutes themselves. They're, they're selling their body for money. I'm getting gigolo energy. Prostitution. But they don't sleep well. There's no rest for the wicked. They don't get any peace. Because they were a taker. They were only out what they can get from other people, how they can use up your time, how they can use up your good, feel good energy, take what they want and then they leave, have sex with you and then they're pushing you away. They don't want to kiss. They don't want to be intimate no more unless they're getting more sex out of it, unless you're doing a sexual, you know, act for them. They just want more like you guys could finish and they want a whole like marathon. Nobody has that kind of energy every day, but they find it. They'd rather have sex all day than go to work every day. It's just, it wasn't a ha it wasn't a healthy appetite because they put their sexual guilty pleasures and desires and their acts, their sexual acts above taking care of the kids, investing in the family. You wanted to go on trips. You wanted to be wine and dine and dated and have conversations about the future and your plans. This person was just about, let's get busy. What can we do? Where can we go? Let's get to the hotel. Where can we meet up? We could go outside in the car, like wherever. But this was a taker. I feel like they stole money from you guys or they stole something. It could be just, you know, the time you put in because they lied about, you know, their sex life. I mean, this person has absolutely no sexual discipline whatsoever. They don't have standards of somebody being loving and loyal. They want it for them, but they don't give that. This person is not loyal, very disloyal. They will sleep with any and everybody willing. And it's sad because I'm hearing like they don't even care about age ranges either. Like this person could end up in jail. I'm hearing possible pedophile maybe i'm getting pedophile energy because they're not checking ids and we know some guys and a lot of girls will lie to get in clubs and stuff like that they're not checking ids because this person don't date people for the right reasons of respect and a relationship and a true commitment they want it to look good but they just want to take virginities they just want to take 
what they can from people and leave them behind. Get to the next. Once people catch on, they're onto the next. Once they catch onto the like they're always in this this evil demonic rotation. They have nothing on their mind but sex, sex, sex. 24-7. That's it. They're very heartless. You feel like they never cared about you. You feel like they never loved you. They definitely don't love themselves. They don't care about their body. A lot of their teeth could be rotting. You, you just see them as heartless. This, I mean, they know you were the real deal. You truly love them. You were authentic. You were kind, genuine, authentic, caring. You're the real deal. You're the person that people marry. You're the kind that people take home to their family. So it looked good for them. You're walking your spiritual path and purpose. They're not They're not even trying to. You guys are enlightened. You guys are aware. And they know that they have been demoted. They just don't care. This person is uncaring. They don't mind falling as long as they can get sex with what they want. Once they run out of money, you know, a lot of them will, if, for those who haven't turned to prostitution, as far as being a prostitute, they will be. They will be. And they have no problem with that. This is the life that they want. And this is why they're stuck in darkness and they don't have any rest. A lot of these people will end up in the hospital. They're going to end up with diseases. This is not somebody to sleep with. And this is why it's so important whether, whether people go back to this energy or not. I don't see you guys doing that. But um, it's so important that people love God and that you see that and that people go get health checks and that Everybody requires, before sleeping with anybody, everybody needs to require that people go get these health checks and screenings. You need to see those medical records and know that they are clean. There's a clean bill of health. This is why it is so important that people do wait to marriage. But I do understand some people want a commitment. They don't want married. They don't want to be married. Um, and that's their prerogative. But people definitely need to get on contraceptives. And I, and I say that with an S at the end today. Do not just trust people with your body because it only takes one time to become a dope fiend or a dope addict. It only takes one time to get something that you cannot escape from, you cannot fix. There is not a cure for everything. There's not treatment. You know, everything cannot be treated or fixed. So, you know, be careful. Be careful. Love, continue to love yourself and love God. If they're not willing to, to get that get that test done, that test screening. These are not the kind of people to be around. This person is cold hearted. They don't care about anything but sex. That's it. And they're in a dark cycle and everything's closing in. And, you know, it ends bad for this person, really bad. They just refuse to change. They refuse to get treatment. They lack compassion, dark heart. And that's why they've been demoted spiritually. So a lot of blessings that they were going to get from you and from God and from others have been completely, I'm here, closed off, shut down. God is saying, no, you guys have to stand in your power and love yourself and love God. This person is weak and they chose to be. You gave them information, wisdom, the tools. They had signs. So you guys did the right thing by disengaging and moving on with your life because they just, they're not worth you. Surround yourself with people who, who bless you and who love you, who bring stability and they have control over their vagina or their penis. You need to be around people who compliment you by being of stellar character and they treat you with love and respect because you guys are the real deal you guys have authentic energy this is a faker this is a liar and they're obsessed with sex and it's going to destroy them i see it destroying them in their life it already has it destroyed your union your connection yeah they they're going to reap i'm here they're going to reap more negativity more pain because they're just so selfish. They feel entitled to sex. They feel like people owe that to them. Or um, This person could create pity parties for themselves or always feeling sorry for themselves. But they know, they know their lifestyle. They know their tribe. They know, they know the kind of people like them. They need to be with people like them if they're not going to change. And this is why you have to outgrow them and wake up. Because they just have no self-respect, no standards about about themselves. None. They don't have it. So there's no harmony with people like this. You deserve blessings and happiness. Harmony. Real love. Go towards the light. Stay faith-based. Go towards God. That's the right way. Okay. 
Virgo, this has been your reading for the mid-month of, I keep wanting to say February or March, but anyways, it's April, the mid-month of April. Um, you guys, something may have happened um, February or March to this person, especially February. That was coming out heavy even before I started. Yeah, they lost their rank. They could have lost their rank within that time. But anyways, this has been your reading. Pray for these people. Pray for yourselves. Keep, continue to keep your distance. Focus on your goals, love and life, opportunities, blessings, all that good stuff. Um, I'm, I'm doing something I never do. I'm like cracking my knuckles. So if you guys hear the popping, this person may like to do that or that's a habit of theirs because I don't like to do that, but I'm doing that, especially on camera. I don't do that at all. So we're, um, but anyways, they're nervous. I'm getting nervous energy. It's like, they almost want me to keep going. Well, okay. So this person is nervous about something. Maybe about what you found out or something's going to be coming out. Uh, I feel more, you're going to hear more about this person. I feel that. But anyways, let me close the reading. All right. I'm getting a cue. Okay. now. So this has been your reading in regards to the karma that people are receiving for betraying you and hurting you. I hope the messages resonate with all of you, as many of you as humanly possible. I'm sending you all safety, love, prosperity, luck, romance real connections, a vibrant life, vibrant good health, and of course, abundance. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you. Bye, Virgo.